The West Highland White Terrier is one of the only dogs whose tail was bred to be strong enough to pull them out of tight holes. They have the boldest personalities of all dogs. They're tenacious. Westies are also great at finding rats in a maze. But can this Westie earn the title Master Earth Dog? Think type A, that's a Westie. Okay. Cute and cuddly, yes, but this little character is definitely not a lap dog. They're feisty little dogs. They're like little Napoleons. This mug may be cute to us, but for a critter in a hole, this is the face of terror. Terrier terror, that is. Dogs come from Scotland. They are one of the terrier group that was bred to go to ground and dig out varmints, all kinds of things. Westies are close on the family tree to Cairns, Skies, Dandies, and other terriers of Scotland. Originally bred to clear farms, mines, and large estates of vermin, it wasn't long before this working dog charmed its way into the home. They've really become family dogs. They are adorable. They're as cute as a button. That adorable white coat is the most obvious Westie feature. It's double layered with a coarse outer coat that sheds dirt and debris as it tunnels. A warm undercoat makes it a good cold weather dog. They were developed from Karen Terriers that happened to be white and bred over and over again until they achieved these white dogs. Legend has it the white coat was born out of a tragic hunting accident. A Scottish nobleman, Colonel Edward Donald Malcolm, accidentally shot his red Cairn Terrier thinking it was a fox. So he said, gosh darn it, I'm going to breed a white terrier so I won't accidentally shoot him hunting. Narrow shoulders, rounded ribs, and wide hips give the Westie's body a bullet shape. This shape allows the dog to wiggle out of tight spaces. But many a Westie still managed to get into trouble. They would often dig themselves deep underground, and the only way they could get dug out was if they barked loud enough so that people knew where they were, and they'd take their shovels and they'd dig them out. It turned out that so many dogs got stuck in holes that a third unique trait was bred into the Westie, a super strong tail. If they're in the hole and you're trying to get them out, you can grab that tail and you can pull on them. It doesn't hurt them. Generations of breeders developed a tail with a robust bone and muscle structure. The vertebrae at the base of the tail are almost equal in size to the rest of the spine. If necessary, the tail can be gripped to pull the dog out of a hole without hurting them. While no two Westies are the same, in general, they do well in most environments. Westies can be in an apartment, but remember, they're not lap dogs. The Westie is a hardy breed that can live up to 14 years. Hip problems and some other health issues are a concern. If you have a lot of sun, they can have problems with the ear tips with sunburn. Training this breed is no picnic. You have to have a little bit of a dog experience before you get one of these Westies. They're a lot to handle. Keeping that double-layered white coat clean can be a challenge. They're going to take a little bit more coat care than some of the other breeds. The Westie is small, so children should be monitored around the dog. But in general, they are good in a family. They make amazing pets, wonderful dogs. Hi, Bobby. The Westie does not like extreme heat generally healthy but susceptible to sunburn on the ears. Keeping the breed's coat in good condition can be a chore, and a strong will makes it a challenge to train. Generally, this is a great family pet. I love Westies. Westies are great. <laughs>